I got all ones and eight distinctions out of the nine subjects I did. Okay. I got an AAB in EET. Jamaica is celebrating you as the country's top performer in CSEC mathematics. All right. Tell me what exactly, what, 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 what is your grade? What, what was your profile? I had a straight A profile, mm -hmm. uh, grade one in CSEC math. Mm -hmm. uh, straight A profile, uh, A in all of the uh, categories that were tested. Mm -hmm. That was my profile. Okay. But we're celebrating you in maths. But what what what, what were your what were your um, passes in the other subjects? I got all ones and eight distinctions out of the nine subjects I did. Okay. I got an AAB in EET. What that is was, what is EET? Oh, industrial technology. Oh, industrial okay. Technology. Okay, so that was the grade two. No, that was a grade one, but okay. I didn't get a distinction in that. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, um, you left Mona Prep, you went to Camden College. You now, Jamaica and the region is celebrating you. You tied with uh, someone from Trinidad. Yes, yes. All right, I want you to just walk me through the, the, the process. Do, do you like mathematics? Yeah, I really do like mathematics. It's one of the subjects that I really enjoy doing mm -hmm. at Camden. Uh, the whole process for me, I'd say I do have a knack for math, mm -hmm. so it really did help me, but more so, it helped a lot just studying and staying committed. Mm -hmm. Like, before the examination process, mm -hmm. I believe about a month before, I had actually made a study timetable for all the subjects I do. Just so, one month before? Uh, a little longer than a month. Okay. I think. Okay. okay. You mean to for exam study timetable? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. yes. Mm -hmm. So, I made that study timetable and I tried my best to stick to it. I tried to, ch ch tried to stay determined, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, motivating and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And really, a big part of it was just staying committed to that timetable and making sure that I didn't just lose track. Mm -hmm. It also helped a lot to have a circle of people who would mm -hmm. actually support me. Mm -hmm. My parents were a big, massive help, honestly. It mm -hmm. was really, really nice having them in my corner like that mm -hmm. just being able to turn to them when I needed it mm -hmm. uh, them my teachers my friends it's I have to attribute some of um, this to them as well mm -hmm. because I don't think I could have gotten to this point without them okay do you study better as an individual or in a group honestly I do think especially for our subjects like math mm -hmm. I probably see I study better as a mm -hmm. because it does help to be able to bounce ideas off of each other like that mm -hmm. so I'd say you know yes tell me the other subjects the other eight subjects the other nine subjects that you did is it other eight eight Indeed. so you did nine subjects in all yes please. right um tops in maths what what were the other eight subjects I did the three sciences chemistry physics and biology mm -hmm. I did industrial technology, uh, IT, mm -hmm. and math, and math, then English A, English B, and math. Okay. So, you also got a grade one for add math? Yes, please. Oh, so you're a, you're a math thing. Math is your thing. Yes. Please. Yeah. Okay. All right. In terms of the, the teaching of, of mathematics during your class time did it make it easier for you in terms of preparing for the subject i think so i think having a strict teacher and not only strict but a teacher who could reason with their students mm -hmm. like that's really just connected them it definitely did help to have that connection with your teacher mm -hmm. in the sense that you, re you knew that they weren't just there to teach, that they enjoyed teaching and they enjoyed just helping students. Yeah. Okay. For ADMATH and math, were, were, the two, were the teachers the same? Same teachers for you? No, no. So, I had different teachers. Okay, so um, you said your ADMATH teacher was who? Miss Jones. Miss Jones, and your math teacher is who? For fourth form, my math teacher was Miss Williams, and mm. for fifth form, my math teacher was Miss Collins. Oh, okay. All right. All right. 
So, you know, so walk me through the last, say, two months leading up to the exams on a whole, but math in particular. Okay, so two months before the examinations, I had the timetable there, so mm -hmm. I wasn't really stressed per se. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to stick to the timetable and make sure that I could just study within the time that I had. Mm -hmm. I was also helping out of my other friends, mm -hmm. which something I realized while I was doing it, it definitely did. I did it for the benefit of my friends for the most part, but mm -hmm. it also helped me mm -hmm. to solidify the information that I was right. disseminating to them or so, helping them understand. So even as you were learning, you were teaching? Definitely. You were teaching your friends? Definitely. Okay. So let, let me ask you, with respect to your the timetable that you set up for yourself, um, was there any part of that timetable that had time for fun? Definitely, definitely. Okay. All right. What what did you do for fun in between studying for your exams? Well, a lot of times I read, uh, I played video games, honestly, watch mm -hmm. TV, just stuff to help me unwind. Mm -hmm. uh, just ease my mind mm -hmm. from the studying because it was rigorous, honestly. Mm -hmm. I did allow myself some time to really just relax, mm -hmm. but I still tried my best to just stay focused on studying as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So I did need that time during my study break for to yeah. relax. Alright. So your other friends your other friends who you help, did they do well in the exams too? Yes, miss. They yeah. did. They definitely did. I think they are, well, they did exceed their own expectations. Mm -hmm. So they did do well, I'm proud of them. So so your success is your is would you consider your success then as much as an individual success for you, but also a group success for you and your, your friends. I definitely call it a group success. Yeah. Definitely. All right. I, w I want to step out of the the comfort zone a little bit. Um, Jamaica is a country that has problems with mathematics from kindergarten to university. We don't have a lot of good maths people and we, you know we, we don't have the we don't have the basics and because of that we are back so when somebody like you you know you know you, you raise raise the bar and, and get to this level we have to we have to celebrate too um so this is just me now asking your opinion about um were you, if you were in a position to give advice to anyone in particular or the people who it matters to about how should we teach mathematics, what, what if anything, would you, would you say? Well, in terms of teaching mathematics, mm -hmm. I would say that math is a subject where you really can't just teach the information. Like I was saying with my teachers, mm -hmm. you have to be able to connect with your students outside of a classroom or educational setting. Mm -hmm. So I don't think being a teacher where you're just militant and just teaching and it's really just that, just education, mm -hmm. I don't think that's the most, that's the best environment personally. Mm -hmm. I think when you're teaching math, you have to have fun with it essentially okay you have to have fun with it and then your students will know that you're having fun with it they'll feel you having fun with it and then they'll have fun too mm -hmm. and i think that was a big part as well of me learning mm -hmm. because while i was having fun i was way more engaged uh -huh. in my actual education and so so we should make the teaching of mathematics more fun then i i'd say so yes mm -hmm. how do we, but you know that there are lots of people who just have a fear of mathematics for I'm not even sure for whatever the reason they're just afraid of ma mathematics how how did you learn mathematics you know, from your you know let's say at, at Mona Prep um, growing up how did your teachers teach it to you to 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 make you love it or did you just you know just started loving it out of the blue 
Ooh, honestly, I think it was a case where I just started to kind of enjoy it mm -hmm. when I can't even explain it. It's I just I have that knack for math and I really do think that just somewhere along that path mm -hmm. I really started to get invested in it really. So it wasn't necessarily hard for me to pick up on most of the things. There were some things mm -hmm. that I needed a bit more help and a bit more guidance with mm -hmm. but for the most part um it was really just me liking the subjects of it it's just out of the blue randomly like you said okay um who was tougher on you mommy or daddy for your studies ah uh, <laughs> probably my <not> mom <mine. laughs> what, what what were some of the things that she would say to you to kind of if she saw you you know just going wide how, how did she bring you back she would definitely try her best to encourage me to just stay on the north path mm -hmm. try not to deviate too much from the studies and just stay focused that was her biggest word doing mm -hmm. my examinations focus stay focused yes mm -hmm. i that was most of what she said mm -hmm. just try and focus on what you're doing mm -hmm. in the now mm -hmm. you know there's seasick it's a limited time thing yeah. it's not going to uh, persevere for years and years you just have a few weeks to do it so for one that means you have to stay focused and do well know while you have the chance and second of all after you're done you have all the time after that to just relax on wine mm -hmm. and enjoy the fruits of your labor you also did um, have straight a profile in adma yes please. all right and uh, so you are you, you have a knack for mathematics are you looking to pursue any kind of future in that direction a future in for now what? for now <laughs> yeah for now yes for now uh one of my careers or my future careers mm -hmm. is uh, chemical engineering mm -hmm. i'm also thinking of doing astrochemistry i'm not exactly sure which one i'm leaning mm -hmm. towards yet mm -hmm. but you have time <laughs> well, yeah. I do. I agree, yeah. right? Yeah. But those two, yes, yeah. those two, I'd say, have a very, very high amount of math. Uh, oh all right. So, all right. So this is this is your first year of sixth form. What are what are the subjects that you're pursuing? Um, no. Physics, chemistry, and pure math. Physics, chemistry. So science, straight sciences again. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like doctor too. <laughs> well, so like medicine mm, yeah maybe I don't, I don't know about medicine okay. i don't think yeah okay <laughs> okay so. not, a, not a problem as i say how old are you by the way 17 you're 17. 17 you have years to to choose and the good thing about it you can be four or five things at at um at different times all right so you know jamaica has just been recently ravaged sections of Jamaica by the hurricane and a lot of them are students who would be doing mathematics and other subjects preparing those you know preparing for CSEC and also the little ones who are preparing for high school what word of encouragement would you or can you give them at this time have you seen the pictures of the devastation I'm not really on social media for the most part. So okay. I'm all right. Okay. All right. But all right. So so overall, though, there are lots of people who, lots of children, lots of schools that are um, destroyed. Some of them totally and completely. Yes. And so there would be children your age at some of the schools. Just generally, if you could um, offer them some words of encouragement, what would that be? Well. I I would say just don't give up. Like it's hard, I do understand and honestly I don't even know because me just saying not giving up, I don't feel like that's enough. Because even though I haven't seen it, I have heard it. Yes. I have heard of all the stuff that has happened over there and really it's ghastly. Mm -hmm. 
honestly. Mm -hmm. But that's my honest word mm -hmm. of advice. Just try, try your best mm -hmm. not to give up, to keep on persevering. Just yeah. stay stable. Yeah. All right. So you are you're in you're in six B now. Um, and you would have like the first part of of Cape to do. Are you doing any additional subjects outside of those? No. No. So you have so you have um, Cape One for physics, for chemistry, and for is it pure maths? Pure, pure maths. As well as comp studies. Oh yes, that's that's compulsory. Yes. Right. So it's a new. You pass this phase and then you go on to your final phase, which would be um, what you call it, six, 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 eight. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, you think you you are up for the for doing just as well in six A? I plan to definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Michelle and I really enjoy you know just talking with you. Um, you're an awesome young man. And perhaps, even if I didn't think you were awesome before, you so said the fact that you're off social media, trust me, <laughs> there's not much to learn there. No, no, no. You know, and that probably is the best thing and it helps you to cope. You know, you don't need the distractions out there. I wish you all the best um, going forward. And as soon as you confirm the, the ADMA, Yes, please. Let me know. Yes, please. Yeah, ma'am.